Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting radical expressions. So, if I wanted to simplify this problem, 3 square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 6. Okay? Well, since they're both, this was 3 times the square root of 6, or 3 square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 6 is. We can just kind of subtract and keep the square root of 6 there. So 3 minus 4 is a negative 1. So we have a negative, right, and then square root of 6. So this one's pretty simple. If you imagine square root of 6 is almost like an x, I know it's not, but if it was 3x minus 4x, it would be a negative x, so it would be done. But it's not just a set variable, it's a, um, or a variable itself, it's a set value, but they're the same. So 3 times square root of 6 minus 4 uh, square root of 6 is just a negative square root of 6. That's it. So let's recap. We're given 3 square root 6 minus 4 square root 6. We can always, since they had the same square root value right there, next what's being multiplied, we just subtract 3 minus 4, which is a negative 1, shown by just that negative right there, and we keep the square root of 6, giving us our final answer of a negative square root of 6.